Testing is really important at Wing because this is a new technology, because we are charting our own path. We have to verify and validate all the hardware, all the software that makes up our system to demonstrate that it's safe and reliable and dependable for the, the public that we serve. At our test facility here, day in, day out, that's what our team is focused on, ensuring that we're developing the safest and most reliable system we can. So we're able to do a few different types of testing here at our test facility. We call it developmental testing. That's where we get to take the early prototypes of a new aircraft out, really find out what the aircraft can do, make it break in very specific ways so that we know how it will function when it runs into some problem that we could see in the future. But then we get to move into probably some of the most important testing, which is our validation testing. Will you know our airplane be able to handle all the kinds of things that come up during the course of a day, a week, a month of flying continuously? That's what we get to find out in a place like this. One of the most visible elements of our testing area is our 48 pad array. We call it an array just because it's kind of regularly spaced out. The key things that this allows us to do is to be able to take up to 48 aircraft and try to fly them all at the same time. Each one of these pads is the takeoff and landing location for our aircraft. And the way the system is currently designed allows us to operate these aircraft without any human contact on the aircraft. And in turn, this allows us to achieve high volume testing that was previously not possible when we were operating out of smaller facilities. This has enabled us to scale our system in a meaningful way, uh, where now in Australia, because of the, the testing and the work that we've done here, the Australia operations has been able to uh, achieve over 100,000 flights this year. And we obviously want to bring that to the United States. And so one of the focuses of the flight test team this year has been on type certification and using this facility to uh, exercise the durability and reliability cycles uh, among other components we hope that will eventually lead to us receiving type certification in the U.S. Since we're building this system from the ground up, there are actually some areas that you might not realize we spend a, a decent amount of our time designing and testing. The aircraft, the ground infrastructure, a lot of that is very visible and you, you've seen this before, but at our test facility, you'll also find maintenance racks as well as aircraft carts because in order to operate a high scale, high volume test operation, we need efficient equipment to move the aircraft on and off the flight line without damaging it. And for the maintenance teams, they're having to manage a large fleet of aircraft coming through their maintenance facility and need space to store these aircraft, again, in a safe uh, manner. And so the engineering that's gone into some of these uh, pieces of equipment may, may actually surprise you. So at our test facility, we also have a number of aircraft. And as you can see here, aircraft come in crates from our a manufacturing line and this is where they are activated before they begin their life in the service. We also have a number of aircraft in service currently for test uh, objectives in a variety of different configurations as we're uh, exploring the different parts of the system and exercising various corners of the envelope. We also have aircraft that are marked for retirement and this is because our aircraft have a designed a safe lifetime. Once they exceed that, they are marked to be retired and removed from our active fleet. I think my favorite part of the fleet that we have here are the next generation aircraft and the prototypes that we're working on. One of the most exciting moments in the development cycle for a new aircraft is the first time it gets to fly out here. It's a major milestone for us. We have a, a brilliant team of uh, aerodynamic engineers who are building the next generation aircraft, exploring different use cases, different sizes. And while we can't show you uh, any of that today, we're testing this day in, day out, and working to bring the next aircraft to reality as soon as we can. Another area that we have in the facility is our PIC room, our pilot and command room. Uh, sometimes this is also called the ground control station. The key of that room is that it has the connectivity that the pilot needs to be able to monitor the fleet of aircraft. Another aspect of our system is that it's very lightweight from a ground infrastructure perspective. What we've been able to test and demonstrate at our test facility here is a concept called the Nestlet. And this is where we have a shipping container 
filled with all the necessary equipment, including the aircraft, that can be deployed rapidly to any location and set up within a day so that we have a lightweight flight operation ready to go uh, in under 24 hours. So the reason why this test site is so important to Wing is because it allows us to test at scale. And in order to demonstrate that our system is safe and reliable, we need numerous hours and cycles uh, on our system to, to verify and validate all the hardware, all the software that makes up the system. And today you've had a chance to, to see some of that. And we hope by doing all of this testing, we'll be able to offer this service to as many people as we can. When we're able to, to take airplanes out into the commercial environment and have the confidence that those airplanes are rock solid, they work really well and they've been well tested, we can go to many, 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 many more places so that we can bring drone delivery to as many people as possible.